Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I want to share with you sort of an updated version of sausage and peppers. Um, I posted on Instagram a couple weeks ago that I had made these basically with whatever I had in the fridge that I wanted to use and they came out to be the best sausage and peppers ever. They were so good and I cannot wait to share it with you. Um, they're not difficult, no groundbreaking ingredients, but trust me, they were heavenly. All right. I've got my little Dutch oven here, my shallow pan here, with a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna be cooking all of my sausages, uh, but when I go ahead to make the sandwiches, I'm only gonna melt the cheese uh, for a couple of them because there's only two of us eating, but I wanna have all the sausages cooked because I want leftovers uh, so that I can make like pasta and things like that. And all I'm doing right now is searing the sausages. Like I like to pierce my sausages so that they don't explode, and then I'm just gonna sear them. Let me run you through everything else you need. Now, ordinarily, I would just do bell peppers, onions, garlic, a tom a crushed tomatoes of some sort, a little basil, salt and pepper, let it simmer, good to go, which would be great. But in my quest of trying to use up little bits and pieces that I had in the fridge, um, I came up with this combination and it was so good. You obviously need so some peppers and onions. Um, I like to use cubanelles here if I have them, but red bell peppers would do. And for a little bit of heat, Throw in a couple of long hots. I am not gonna cut them, I am not gonna pierce them because these are really hot. Um, I just want to infuse their flavor in the sauce and then at the end I'm just gonna give these to Joe because they are way too hot for me, uh, but he loves them. So we have that, lots of garlic that's smashed, a couple of tomatoes. I had a couple of tomatoes that day that I wanted to use up and everything together was just phenomenal. So I have a couple of Roma tomatoes that I've chopped, a little bit of red wine, and then in here, I didn't want to open up a new can of tomatoes because I only had a little less than two cups of pre, I had made some pizza sauce, which is just tomato sauce, granulated garlic, a little bit of basil, salt, pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. And I knew I needed more than like a cup and a half of liquid, but I didn't want to open up another can. So I went ahead and just used that one and a half cups and then I added beef broth to it and it was so good. So that's what I've got going on here. I've got about a little, about around one and three quarters cup of tomato sauce, and then I have water because I've got my powder bouillon here, but you can just use beef broth, and a little bit of granulated garlic, and then we have some fresh basil. When you go to serve them, I'm using Kaiser rolls, and we're gonna toast them with a garlicky butter, so it's almost like your bun is a garlic bread before you even put the sausage in it. I'm gonna let those sear, then I'm gonna take them out, and then I'll show you the next step. My sausages are seared, they look fantastic. I'm, I'm not gonna add any additional oil to this because as you can see there's still a little bit left plus a little bit of the rendered fat from the sausage. You're gonna add your peppers and your onions. Hey, oh! That goes in there. Oh, it smells so good, it smells so good. I love it, I love it. I love the smell of sauteing peppers, onions, garlic. It just like instantly feels like, it, it instantly makes your house smell like a home. You know what I mean? I love it. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. I wanna help those veggies draw out a little bit of the moisture. And now I'm just gonna saute these for a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add my whole cloves of garlic too. I add them whole. It gives you a really nice mild flavor, and as they cook, because we're gonna simmer this for about an hour or so, which you can salt, you can simmer on low for hours if you want to. Um, the garlic gets really sweet and delicious, and it's just truly phenomenal. So I'm just gonna let this go for a few minutes, and then we move on to the next step. I smell so good. Those look good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my tomatoes. Give those a head start. I don't know what it is, but this whole combination thing, but you're gonna tell me these are the best, best sausage and pepper sandwiches ever. Trust. That's good enough, because remember, this is gonna cook for a while. Deglaze with some red wine. That'll really help lift any bits from the bottom of the pan. And I don't let this cook out for a super long time. I don't want it to disappear because I do want a lot of that flavor in my sauce. While I'm here, I'm just gonna take a pinch of my Italian seasoning and I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with my bouillon. 
do it like so. And this will all mix together as it cooks. I already love the way this smells. Okay. I'm going to nestle my sausages back in. Nice, flavorful bath. They're going to cook for a while. I'm going to surround the each with the long hots. And, and if you don't like heat, if you don't have long hots, um, leave them out. And just use, like I said, a cubanelle pepper. I, I do like bell peppers, and you can use all bell peppers. I just find them to be really sweet. Um, sous chef is playing with her own things over there. So if you hear dinosaur noises and things like that, her dinosaurs are having a tea, a tea party. So it's all good. A few leaves of basil that I'm growing on my windowsill at the moment because we're still getting really cold nights. And then just pop the lid on and let this cook sort of low and slow for a while. Ooh, look what I did, my favorite sweatshirt. I got some sauce, my sweatshirt. Love the sweatshirt. It says, I love you more than pizza, which you know, strong statement. I love pizza. Okay, I'm gonna go cook this for a while and then I'll show you what it looks like. I'm actually gonna just leave it ajar like that for a little bit so that it the steam so it can sort of escape and get all yummy and thick and delicious. These are looking good. They're smelling fantastic. They've been cooking a while and they're pretty much ready. Let's work on the rolls. I've got my oven preheated to 400. I've got, these are actually Portuguese rolls, Kaiser rolls, you know, uh, whatever rolls you can get your hands on right now. And I, I like a nice crusty roll for this. Um, they're gonna be fantastic. I have my oven preheated to 400. I'm just gonna split these open like so, right? We are gonna make the most delicious garlic Parmesan butter to smear on these, and then pop them into the oven, then top them with the sausage with the cheese melted on it, and trust you me, oh my goodness, they are so good. It's unreal. I'm doing three. Joe will eat two sandwiches, man has an appetite. Um, and I'm gonna do one for myself, but obviously adjust the recipe according to how many people you are feeding. Oh, here we go again. Where I forget to open up, uh, peel my garlic, but I don't wanna smash it because I'm gonna grate this. So I've got a few tablespoons of butter. Now obviously this is very indulgent, so if you don't wanna do this step, by all means, just leave it out, but oh, don't know why you'd want to. That's all I gotta say. My butter is really, really soft. I had it right next to the pot, so it's borderline starting to melt, which is good, it's fine. A cup of cloves are good because you're grating it, so it's gonna be much, much stronger. Good, watch your fingers. And then a little bit of parmigiano a pinch of Italian seasoning. I always like to make my own Italian seasoning. The recipe for the blend is in my book. If you have my book, then um, I suggest you go ahead and make your own Italian seasoning blend. It's my favorite, it's my favorite. Some of them just have too much like rosemary, too much stuff in it that I don't care for, but mine's good. Okay, then I'm just gonna take a knife and I'm gonna smear this garlic Parmesan butter all over the cut side of the bread. And if you don't use it all, pop it in the fridge and now you have a delicious flavored compound butter that you can use on vegetables or you can do another one of these. Okay, last one. And now I'm just gonna pop these into the oven um, until they are, I'm just gonna go extra with mine. <laughs> until they are just a beautiful golden brown and crispy and phenomenal. And um, don't, don't watch, because this is mine. Then it's gonna look ridiculous. So I'm gonna go do that, and then we build a sandwich. Like honestly, listen, if all you make is just the bread, 
it'll be worth it, okay? I'm just taking the tops off because I'm gonna just pop these under the, um, in the oven just for literally a second. I'm gonna turn off my sausages. Um, already taste the sauce for salt. Doesn't need any additional salt. I like to split my sausages in half, especially if I'm using a Kaiser roll. I just think it makes it a lot easier to eat. But you must do one of these. Don't put it in there without it drenching it into the sauce. Do you know what I'm saying? That's good, I'm gonna do two more, and then I'll put some peppers on. These peppers. They smell so good, I just wanna eat. I'm sure you feel me. Although that's like the story of my life though, there's just absolutely nothing new about that statement. <laughs> okay, come on. Get that one out, saucy and delicious. You could do one and a half sausages per person, um, and I would, but you know, I really want to have leftovers for a pasta dish or just to make more sandwiches tomorrow so that I don't have to cook another meal. That would be nice, okay? And then you're just going to top each one with some of the peppers and onions and a sauce. You know what I'm saying? You can cut up the um, the long hots, by the way. Totally you could, but they are so hot. This, these are so, so hot that I don't wanna, I don't wanna be in pain. So, I'm gonna give those to Joe on the side, and I know that he will love it. Okay, so now all you do is a slice of provolone, a little parm, back in the oven for just a few seconds to melt the cheese, then we top and we eat. And that's it. I like a little more sauce on top of the cheese, like so. And then I'm just gonna, mm. listen, if you don't like saucy, messy, I lost my knife. My brain, when it's hungry, it can't think. The crunch. That is the best sausage and peppers. My mouth is salivating. You'll ever have in your entire life. I am 1,000% certain I'm gonna burn myself, but never stopped me before. It ain't gonna stop me now. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah. Listen. Listen, make these. That's all I gotta say. With this bread, it's crucial. You'll love it. Lauren, can you not come with the recipe? Just go. I know you enjoy spending time with me. My ball of fun. It's so much joy. I'll see you next time. Bye.